Hey, every <clears throat> hey everybody, this is Zeris, and I'm here to bring you the first ever CSL Weekly News. I'm going to go over sort of a, a recap of the first four weeks of the CSL since we are on Thanksgiving break. I also want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, and make sure you play your StarCraft along with eating your turkey, and I mean that in the least sexual way possible. So, <clears throat> a lot of interesting stuff has happened so far in the CSL. We see that two of the previous champions, UCSD and Waterloo, the champions in Season 3 and 2 respectively, have already dropped regular season matches. UCSD lost to Rutgers University, Waterloo lost to Florida. So, it's interesting to see the two champions losing matches already could be a sign that the general skill level of the CSL is increasing, which is actually really good in terms of uh, looking at how competitive the league is. Another really interesting thing to note is what happened to Duke? Duke is sitting outside of the playoffs right now with a 3-2 record, so they're barely sitting over 500. <coughs> they've, they've lost already to two UC schools, Seems like the UC schools just have Duke's number. Uh, they lost to Davis, they've lost to Berkeley, and two of their wins have gone to the ace match. So, and they're, they're, they haven't been against um, traditionally well-known schools for being really good at StarCraft. So it's kind of interesting to see how the mighty have fallen. Um, Duke clearly better at StarCraft 1 than StarCraft 2. So that's actually something that's really interesting uh, we're going to have to watch uh, Duke's performance for the rest of the season and see if they can possibly bounce back and make the playoffs again. <coughs> I'm going to have a little drink. Make sure you drink your cranberry juice. Avoid the UTIs. Um, another, another sort of interesting development so far in the CSL, uh, we have the return of UC Berkeley. Berkeley's currently sitting at a really strong 4-1 record. They did drop a match to Caltech at the beginning of the season, but ever since then they've been on point defeating all of their opponents pretty handily. So again, uh, Berkeley was the CSL Season 1 champion, just in case you guys don't remember. Um, so it's sort of another powerhouse team that's sort of coming back, and it's going to make the league quite a bit more interesting, I think. Speaking of Caltech, who has our favorite Zerg player, Sarah, Sarah Ken, Sarah Sen, I don't know how to say his name. Um, <coughs> Caltech has, Caltech started strong, but since they beat Berkeley in the beginning of the season, they've kind of struggled. They've lost to Indiana University and the University of Toronto, which are teams that really you would expect Caltech not to lose against. Um, Speaking of Indiana University, they have been a little bit surprising too, sort of a relatively unknown team that's doing rather well in the CSL. The Leviathan division is being dominated by Texas teams. Texas teams occupy three of the four playoff spots. You have, you see it, you have Texas A&M, you have University of Houston, you have the University of Texas Austin, all sitting at the top of the of the uh, division with 5-0, 5-0, and 4-0 records. Actually, I want to check why does Texas A&M have only a 4-0 record rather than a 5-0 record? Oh, <clears throat> quite possibly because a team dropped out of the league. Now, another interesting thing that's going on in the league is the cheating scandal scandal that happened about two weeks ago. We had the University of Wisconsin-Madison cheating in the CSL, which, no, that is a no-no. We don't do that in the CSL. Basically what happened was one of the players was playing on multiple accounts in a match. So you're only allowed to play in one one-on-one -on -one match and possibly an ace match if it gets down to that. But we had one player that played in a one-on-one -on -one a two-on-two, -two, and another one-on-one -on -one match by using a different account and trying to sort of cover it up by 
at the end changing the hotkeys obviously that's not gonna fly here at the CSO we do not condone any kind of cheating so please if you know someone who's cheating if you're considering cheating don't do it because we will catch you we will catch you and yeah so the University of Wisconsin Madison has the whole team has been removed from the CSO for this season um, the person involved in the cheating has received a lifetime CSL ban. So again, um, we take our cheating seriously here at the CSL. So let's let's avoid doing that. Speaking of cheating, we do have another sad thing to report. Um, possibly, we noticed some troubles in the Spectre division with <clears throat> teams getting some kind of weird records and the eventual conclusion is that we have or had I guess a dishonest administrator that problem has been dealt with the scores have been fixed the division is back to normal uh, but we will be looking to sort of replace um, find some new administrators so if anyone's interested they should send an email to cstarleague at gmail.com if they want to help out. And again, the cheating goes for everybody. We don't tolerate cheating in the in the staff. We don't tolerate any kind of cheating with players or coordinators or anybody. And we want to make sure that this is the most legitimate fair play league possible. So we're going to do everything we can to make sure that everybody is following the rules. And again, we do have logs. Uh, so we can check what everyone's doing on the website. So <coughs> if an administrator wants to change scores or do something, we know about it. So again, just please, in the future, let's make sure that these are the only two incidents that happened this season and that the rest of the season progresses really smoothly and without any sort of hiccups like this. Now, in terms of rivalries, we have had some exciting matches already and hopefully there are more to come. We've got Harvard defeating Yale in the uh, the classic Ivy rivalry series, um, and U University of Mich Michigan defeated Michigan State. So that's another sort of interesting rivalry. And coming up next week, because of the uh, Thanksgiving break this week, there's no matches. But next week we have a really exciting match that's going to happen. We're going to have UCSD versus UC Irvine. And over the past few seasons, these two teams have developed a sort of rivalry. Uh, we always meet in the playoffs. Uh, UCSD usually comes out ahead. <coughs> After uh, UC Irvine uh, beat UCSD in during the regular season of Season 2, uh, but it has produced really exciting matches in the Season 2 playoffs in the Western Finals. Um, Irvine took UCSD all the way to the ace match. <coughs> It was a really, really exciting series of games that always happens when UCSD plays UC Irvine. So be sure to check that out next weekend. Um, again, I want to wish everybody a really happy Thanksgiving. And I want to announce um, a special event that's going to be happening this Saturday. It's going to be the Turkey Drop King of the Hill. Um, I'm going to be casting a marathon King of the Hill games in which all CSL players are invited to participate. It's going to start at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday. I'll probably be casting and streaming games until 11 p.m. or midnight Eastern, uh, whichever. If there's a significant amount of interest, I'll just keep on going, keep on going. And again, every CSL player is welcome to play. <clears throat> so if you want to get in on this, uh, if you want to partake in the King of the Hill, um, at 6 p.m. on Saturday, just join the uh, CSL IRC channel, and I will just start picking people to play games, and then we're going to just run. The winner stays. That's sort of the, sort of the uh, King of the Hill format. The winner stays until he's beaten. And I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be casting. I think, um, I think I'm going to start off the King of the Hill, so I'm going to see how far I can go, um, and then cast my own matches while I'm playing stuff like that. So I'm going to try to also get um, some of the top CSL players. I'm going to make sure that some of my UCSD guys come to play. So if you're a coordinator, make sure that your top players come out to play because I want to see some really nice matches taking place. 
Also, <clears throat> I'm going to be releasing the replay, uh, the replay pack of the King of the Hill games afterwards. So if you're interested in watching the games after, you can download the replay pack. And again, make sure to check out cstarleague.com. Uh, we're having a lot of interesting content being posted, team interviews, weekly reports, match reports. And uh, starting now, we're going to have the weekly video coming up. <clears throat> and again, Saturday, remember, 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, you can tune into my live stream, livestream.com slash <coughs> I will be casting <clears throat> King of the Hill games for about five to six hours. And the last announcement, the CSL is going to have a new website that's coming out <clears throat> in just a couple weeks. <clears throat> we have been working on adding a lot uh, more new features to the website, uh, TV section, statistics. <clears throat> and along with that, we're redesigning the whole website. So it's going to have a brand new look. It's going to be really great. And so expect that in the next couple weeks. <clears throat> so again, uh, thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed the first CSL Weekly episode. Um, this is only going to get improved, especially once I find um, video editing crew. Hopefully going to be looking for that. And again, everybody check out cstarleague.com. Uh, obviously, this is the CSL website. Go become a fan of us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Collegiate Star League, I think that's what the link is. Just search for Collegiate Star League on Facebook. Be a fan, help us grow, enjoy the league, watch the games, and have fun. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Um, this is Zaris, of course, and thank you guys for watching.